Hi guys, I'm Ivona from Healthy Back Pilates and today we are doing a Pilates for healthy hips. So we're going to focus on improving hip mobility and also strengthen your glutes. This is going to be a short 30 minutes class and I hope you enjoy it. Let's begin. So we're going to come onto the hands and your knees. Your hands are underneath your shoulders and your knees are underneath the hips. As you inhale, I want you to lift the sit bones up, lengthen to the spine, just feeling the stretch in the back of your sacrum. And then as you exhale, round your spine, draw the chin to the chest and release. And then one more time, just lift the sit bones up, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, just to round your back, draw the chin to the chest and relax your shoulders away from your ears. Good. And then from here, we're going to lengthen the spine. So we are in a neutral position. We're going to maintain the neutral position as you hinge back from your hips. So you're going to take a breath in here. And then exhale, you come forward. So you maintain the position of the spine and you're just hinging from the hips as you lean back. Inhale. And exhale to come forward. So as you go back, you're going to feel a gentle stretch into the front of the hips. And exhale to come forward. Let's do that twice more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. And then have your feet a little bit wider than your knees. And then do the same thing. So inhale without tucking your tailbone under. You're going to go back. And then exhale to come forward. So this time you won't be able to go as far and that's okay. You should feel a stretch in front of the hips and exhale to come forward. Let's do another three. Inhale and exhale. Two more. And last one. Inhale and exhale. Good. And then release your feet back to the starting position and then open your knees super wide, big toes together, sit down onto your heels and then stretch your arms forward, forehead to the mat and just take a couple of deep breaths. So we're going to inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, two more breaths, inhale into your belly and exhale. And last time, breath in. And take a breath out. Good. And then look forward. Come back up onto the hands and your knees. Keep your knees wide. And then turn your feet out. And maybe widen your knees a little bit more. So you are in a frog position with your legs. You're going to go down onto the forearms. And then same thing. So you're going to lean back as you inhale. And then exhale to come forward. And a couple more times. So you're going to feel a deep stretch into your inner thighs. If you feel any pain or any tension into your knees, I want you to prop your knees. So take a pillow or take a towel and place it underneath your knees to cushion the knees Yeah, if you need. So we're going to go inhale to go back, exhale to come forward. Let's do it twice more. And last one. Good, and we're just going to hold it here and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take one more breath. And then place your hands underneath your shoulders. Slowly walk your knees in one knee at a time. Walk your hands forward and just lift your hips up to the ceiling. And just start marching on the spot, stretching through the back of the leg, into the calf and your heel. Let's do one more. Good. And then release your knees back down. Good. And then from here, we're going to lie down on your back. So lying nice and flat on your back, you're going to cross your right leg over, flex your right foot, and then if you can, draw the left leg in and grab behind your left thigh. Then create a little curve in the lower back. If, you're, if you find that your upper back is rounded and your head is tilting back quite a bit, you can use a pillow underneath your head. 
So support your head if you need to. Little curve in the lower back, relax the shoulders. Let's hold for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale fully. Another two breaths here. And then take a warm more breath. And good, and then gonna lower your left foot back down. Open the arms out to the side, take your legs over to the left. Make sure the right foot is nice and flat on the floor. And then with your left hand, just gently draw your leg in towards you. You're gonna feel a nice stretch into your buttock. Good, and just take a couple of deep breaths. Good, and then slowly we're gonna come back to the center. Place your right foot down. We're gonna switch, so left foot on top of your right leg, flex your foot. And th if this gives you a deep enough stretch, you just stay here. If you want a deeper stretch, draw your right leg into the chest, grab behind your thigh, relax your shoulders, draw the chin in. Just take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more breath, inhale. And deep exhale. And then you're gonna lower your right foot back down to the floor. Open the arms wide. And then take your legs over to your right. Make sure the left foot is flat on the floor. And then with your right hand, just gently pull that left knee in towards you. And hopefully feeling a bit of a stretch into your glute. Breathe there. And just take a one more breath. And exhale. Ah, good. And then slowly we're going to come back to the center. Place your left foot down. And then we're gonna have your feet as wide as your mat and walk your feet quite close to your sit bones. Good, and then from here, we're gonna take your knees over to your left. So the right leg is spiraling in, left leg is rotating out, feet are flexed and you reach your right knee forward, hopefully feeling a bit of a stretch into the front of the hip. Turn your head now, look towards your right hand. Take a two deep breaths, inhale into your belly. Exhale fully. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Good, we're gonna come back to the center. Same thing, second side. So we're gonna take your knees over to your right. So the left knee drops in, reach the left knee forward and make sure both feet are flexed. Rotate your head, turn your head, look to your left hand. And breathe deeply into your belly. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Good. Come back to the center. Walk your feet in now so they are hip distance apart. Arms by your side, palms down. Just check that your feet aren't too close to your hips or not too far. So somewhere in between. All 10 toes are pressing down, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under and then start to peel the spine off the floor. Now, I don't want you to go up all, all the way up to the bridge. I want you to go into this hammock position. So tucking your tailbone under, ribs are staying low, chest nice and open. You're feeling your, hopefully you're feeling your glutes and your hamstrings. You're gonna inhale there. And as you exhale, slowly releasing your spine back down, nice and slow, bone by bone. Relax your tailbone. And let's do that again. Breath in. Breath out, draw the pubic bone to the belly button, and then belly button to the breastbone, and lifting halfway up. Inhale, open the chest, draw the chin to the chest a little bit more. Exhale, meld your spine back down, bone by bone. Let's do that one more time. So we're going into the hammock position. Breath in, breath out, tuck your tailbone under, peel that spine, pubic bone to the belly button, 
and then we're just gonna hold it there. Now I want you to really press your feet down into the floor, big toe, little toe, and the heel. Take a breath in, breath out, lift your right leg up into tabletop. Inhale, tap the foot down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap the foot down. We got eight more. If it's too easy, lift your arm up to the ceiling. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And forget to breathe. And two. And one. Good. Place your foot down. Good. Second side. Inhale. Prepare. Exhale. Lift your left leg up. Inhale. Tap. Exhale. Lift. And we got nine more. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Keeping your hips nice and leveled. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Place your foot down. Reach your arms over your head and lift your hips up a little bit more to really focus on opening the front of the hips. So go as high as you possibly can. All ten toes down. Big toe, little toe, and the heel. Draw the chin in, lift your hips up even more, take a breath in. Exhale, melt your spine back down, bone by bone. Good, and then release. Hug your knees to the chest, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, press your feet back down to the floor. Let's inhale. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, peel that spine off the floor. And this time we're going all the way up into the bridge position. So we're going to rest on your shoulder blades. Now make sure the lower ribs are lower than your hip bones. You don't want to be pushing your chest up like this. So the lower ribs are lower than your hip bones. Chest is nice and open. Draw the chin to the chest. Inhale as we exhale, we're going to lift your right heel off the floor. And then we're going to lift your left heel. Inhale, open the right knee to the side. Exhale, bring it back to the center. Inhale, open the left knee to the side. Bring it back in. Let's go for another five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One more. Good, let's open both knees, exhale, draw them back in. Open both knees, draw them back in. We get another eight, seven, six, ribs in, don't forget to breathe, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, and then release your heels down. Then lift the toes up, lower the hips tiny bit, exhale, squeeze to the top. Let's go for another eight, seven, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there, breath in, breath out, press your toes down and lift your heels. Breath in, breath out, lower the heels and lift the toes. Breath in, breath out, lower the toes, lift the heels, and switch. Let's go for another five. Lower the heels, lift the toes, and switch four. And three. And two. And one. Good job. We're going to keep the whole of the foot on the floor, reach the arms over the head, and lift your hips as high as you possibly can. Take a breath in and then exhale slowly melt your spine back down bone by bone. Good and then hug your knees to your chest. Good and then just rock your hips from side to side. Well done. We've got one more exercise to do so we're gonna place your feet down arms by your side. Breath in, breath out, tuck your tailbone under, pubic bone to the belly button, belly button to the breastbone, we're going all the way up into the bridge. Press your shoulders down, draw the chin to the chest, and then from here, I want you to lift your right leg all the way up to the ceiling and point your toes. Take a breath in, as you exhale, draw five circles, nice and slow, one, 
Exhale, two. Hips are leveled. Three. Four. If you feel any tension in your lower back, just lower the hips and tuck your tailbone under a little bit more. Five. Let's go the other way. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lift your hips up a little bit more. Lower the foot down. Switch legs. Left leg up. Back of the leg nice and straight. Point your toes. Breath in. Breath out. Circle for one. And two. Three. Four. And five. Let's go the other way. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Lift your hips up a little bit more. Bend that knee. Slowly lower that spine back down. And hug those knees to your chest. Well done, guys. Good. And then stretch your legs out. Stretch through the arms. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good. Bend your knees one more time. And we're going to roll over onto your side. Bottom arm is in line with your spine. Your knees are bent. And then just draw your lower ribs in and lift this bottom waist off the floor. So you want to have a little gap here between, between the waist and between the mat. Flex your feet, take a breath in, and as you exhale, we're gonna open the knee up to the ceiling and inhale to close. And we're gonna open and we're gonna close. So now make sure that you're not moving your hips around. So pelvis is staying still, both hips are facing forward and then the rotation only happens in the hip joint. So think about spiraling the thigh bone in the hip socket and then spiraling back in and then spiraling out and spiraling in. Good. So let's do a couple more. Draw those ribs in. And we're going to Keep that knee open, point your toes, and then you're gonna tap your foot forward and back. So make sure it's the whole of the leg is moving, not just the foot doing this, yeah? So the whole of the leg goes forward and back. Let's go for another 10, let's go a little bit faster. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, release, stretch the leg long, flex the foot, lift the leg hip height. Let's go for circles. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's reverse. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Don't look down at your foot. Look forward. Nice straight spine. Three, two, and one. Good. Relax for a second. Then lift the leg up, point your toes, and reach your leg back behind you without arching your spine. So keeping those lower ribs in. Flex your foot, kick the leg forward as you exhale. Point your toes, reach your leg back. Open the front of the hip, feel the stretch. Flex and kick forward. So your spine is not moving. You don't want to be rocking your spine forward and backwards. You only moving from the leg and making sure that the foot is in line with the hip joint. So I'm going to control the movement. Good. Let's do one more. Reach back, open the front of the hip, and flex. Good. And then come back to the center. Relax. Give it a little massage. Good. And then let's push ourselves up and we switch sides. So we're gonna start with clams. So get yourself in a correct position first. Bottom arm is in line with the spine. It's not right forward here. It's in line with the spine. Your feet are flexed, lower ribs drawn in, little gap here underneath the bottom waist. Top hand on the hip, elbow pointing up to the ceiling. Breath in to prepare. Breath out, we rotate out. Inhale, we close. 
and exhale. And make sure you're not looking down at your feet, look forward, lengthen the neck. And exhale. Let's do two more. Exhale. Good. We're going to point your toes and we're going to go forward and back. Moving from the leg, not just from the foot. Let's go for another ten. So tapping your foot forward and back. Nine. Let's go a bit fast. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Extend the leg, flex your foot, and let's go for circles. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten good we're gonna point your toes reach your leg back behind you open the hip flex the foot and kick the leg forward as you exhale point and reach back open and stretch the front of the hip exhale flex and kick the leg forward let's do a couple more inhale and exhale so making sure the spine is not moving you shouldn't feel this in your lower back the lower back is not moving either Control the movement. Make sure the foot is in line with the hip. And let's do one more. Good. And then release. Bend the knee. And just give yourself a massage. Well done. Good. So we're going to push ourselves up. And we're going to release your hips. So we're going to cross your left shin in front of your right shin. And then... Keeping that spine nice and straight, we're going to walk your hands forward. Good. And you're going to hopefully feel a stretch into your left hip a little bit more than your right. And you're just going to stretch it out here. If you're super flexible, you can try to bring your left foot on top of your right. And then you can walk your hands forward. I can't do it. It's too much for me. So I'm just going to keep my foot down. But make sure you're not rounding your spine. Keep that spine long, shoulders down. Stretching into that left hip. One more breath. And then walk your hands in and we switch. So crossing your right shin. So make sure when you do this, you're not crossing your ankles and then you go forward. I really want you to cross the shins. So the knees are in line with your feet. And then from there, hinge forward and then walk your hands forward without rounding your spine. Good, one more breath. And then release, good, and just shake the legs out. Good, and then from here we're gonna come onto the hands and your knees. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna lengthen your left leg back behind you, hover the leg, flex your foot, and then bend your knee. Now make sure you're not collapsing into your shoulders, you're not collapsing into your lower back. Pull the navel into the spine, and we're going to imprint that heel on the ceiling 15 times. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, another ten. Ten, nine, don't let the head drop down. Keep the neck in line with the rest of the spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release that knee down, stretch your right leg behind you, lift your leg hip height, flex, and then bend into your knee. I'm not collapsing into my shoulders, I'm not collapsing into my lower back. 
pull the tummy in, push the sh floor away from you, and we go five, four, three, two, one other ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And then release. Take a quick child's pose. Take one more breath. And then as we exhale, slide your hands to your knees and we're going to come into kneeling position. So kneeling position, step your right foot forward. And then as you inhale, just tuck your tailbone under and then exhale, relax. And then as you inhale, just tuck your tail under and relax. And last time, just tucking the tailbone under and relax. And then you're going to tuck your tailbone under, maintain that position, and then lean forward into your hips. Right hand to your right inner knee, left arm up and over, and you're going to side bend. Keep breathing into that left hip. One more breath. And then come on up and just quick hamstring stretch. Flex your front foot, straighten the leg, try to keep your spine straight. If you're struggling keeping your spine straight, you can bend into the knee. Good. Hold for another two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Good. And then come on up and we switch legs. So left leg forward. And then inhale, tuck your tailbone under, pubic bone to the belly button. Exhale, release. And inhale, little tuck. And release. Let's do one more. Little tuck. And release. Good. And then we do a little tuck. Maintain the tuck. Lean forward. If you can't feel the stretch into your right hip, walk your left foot a little bit further forward. And then place your left hand to your left inner knee, right arm up and over to the left. Breathe into the right side of your belly, stretching out your hip flexors. Let's hold for another one deep breath in. And then exhale, release. And we're going to straighten the front leg. Hands to the floor. Spine is straight. If you're struggling keeping your spine straight, bend your knee. Good, and then slowly come out of that position. One more time, come onto the hands and your knees, and then inhale, just arch your back. Exhale to round your spine. Let's do it one more time. Inhale to arch your back, look forward. And exhale to round. Good, and then slowly release, sit down onto your heels, or sit in a cross-legged position, yes. and interlace the fingers, reach your arms up. Take a nice big breath in. And then as you exhale, circle the wrist and relax. Good, well done. I hope you enjoyed this Pilates routine for healthy hips. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.